Yegor, three goals in your last two games, two of them game winners. Uh, how does it feel to be able to, to contribute when games are on the line and, and points are up for grabs? Uh, I think the biggest win is just when we won the game, you know, because we need points and, you know, yeah, points for the playoff spot and just happy when my goal is helping to the team win, win the games. You're close to setting a new career high. Do you keep attention, pay attention to statistics in terms of your goal totals or anything like that, or do you just kind of focus on what you have to do? Uh, just you now focus on the game, you know. And now I'm center and focusing more, you know, about like D's on stuff and yeah, just focus on every game what is coming. Can you describe what, what it felt like to score that goal, the, the second one, the game winner last night, just about the feeling in the building, how loud it was? Oh, yesterday's, you know, fans, it's really buzzing. <laughs> yeah, it's tough a little bit start, but third period, it's, you know, it's crazy. And yeah, it's a lot of, you know, emotion when you score like 50 seconds left to, to the game. And yeah, it's really nice. Diego, yeah, can you um, recall a moment where the comfort level, the confidence, where everything just sort of started to click for you as you continue to adjust to everything that's so new. When was it that you became, you know, really comfortable in your game? Uh, in June when I traded. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, yeah, of course, it's take, you know, it's take a time, but yeah, right now I'm, I'm feeling, you know, good in the team, like, with Everyone is with teammates, you know, always talking like, yeah, feel feel good in the team. When it comes to being a difference maker, do you feel that that's a part of your game? I mean, so much goes into that, right? Being confident, understanding system structure, uh, line mates, whatever it is. Do you feel as though now you can be a difference maker any given night? Uh, it's hard to talk about, but you know, like, I said, I just, you know, focus on my, you know, job and to helping, you know, this team to win the game. And, you know, when we played good, like, like a line, our line, you know, we were always talking like with a Hubie. Hubie always, you know, helping me too, because he's, you know, great guy, great player, you know, and if we'll playing some ways, it'll be good for us. Do you feel more comfortable with the center position? Like it looks natural to us. It looks like it's been comfortable from the start, but has it become more easy as it's gone along here? Yeah, it's actually you know comfortable for me because I I just like it. You know, always in the game, being always in the game. You know, and center you like always in the game. It's like in D zone, neutral zone, like offense zone, and just one point still need to work like in the face of that. <laughs> You know, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's staff night, and yeah. It, That's an experience thing, right? Reps, uh, you know, constantly taking face-offs against guys, learning what they like to do versus what you like to do. Is that fair? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, you know, it's a little bit take the time about face-off because, I don't know, just still need to work on this, you know, on this point, and just need to keep on.